What's up YouTubers? It's your boy Coach Doug and I'm back for another cooking tutorial. Well tonight we're going to go ahead and make batter fried uh, trout with a side of uh, homemade tartar sauce. We're also going to do some uh, home style potatoes fried up and some batter fried shrimp to go with it. Um, today I went to St. Clair's and went uh, shore fishing today because it was raining out and I uh, picked up four uh, nice size uh, big fat trout. Um, one was uh, 13 inches, the other two were 13 and a half and the biggest one was 14 so it was a pretty good day. Um, even though it was raining out but I didn't do no recording for an episode because uh, tonight I wanted to do the tutorial. So, But I already pre-sliced the, um, pre-cut the, uh, the trout up and uh, got it all prepared so it's all gutted out and cut up the way the wife likes it. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, uh, create the uh, homemade tartar sauce first. Um, the ingredients you're going to need and I'm also going to go ahead and put them down to the side so that you can go back and uh, write down the, uh, the uh, ingredients. But you're going to need uh, one cup of mayonnaise, one tablespoon of sweet pickle relish, one tablespoon of uh, minced onion, um, two uh, tablespoons of lemon juice, uh, salt and pepper, and garlic. And uh, it says a pinch, but uh, go ahead and mix in uh, to what, what whatever your taste buds like. And rule of thumb is always start off with the, you know, the what the ingredients call for or very less and then add on, you know. And like I say throughout all my other t cooking tutorials, I am not a professional cook, all right? So, so let's get started. But before I started anything, I went ahead and preheated, um, preheating my oil now, and it uh, has to be preheated to uh, 375. So by the time we get done mixing everything and get everything together, we'll be ready to go ahead and uh, cook that stuff up. Fry it up. All right. So, mix a bowl for the tartar sauce to get it started. Let's go ahead and uh, readjust here. All right. So I got my mixing bowl. I already got an onion pre-cut for the minced onion. First things first, we're going to need a cup of, uh, of mayonnaise. So first things first is a cup of mayonnaise. Next we need a tablespoon of sweet relish, pickled relish. Okay. 
Yeah, I'd like to use the red onion. It has a little bit more flavor to me. I haven't had no complaints about it either. So. But whatever type of onion you guys would like. Just depends on what your taste buds are. And I can also cheat and use uh, onion powder if you like, but I like to try to keep the uh, ingredients as uh, fresh as I can. Mama Bear's in the living room doing presents for the kids and stuff. And I'm doing this cooking tutorial for you guys. for pinch. like I said you're gonna readjust as you go on and then garlic powder uh, we're gonna do garlic. yeah we're gonna have to do garlic powder instead of minced garlic and all I forgot to grab the garlic together go ahead and mix mix it really well too alright and then once you got that mixed up we'll go ahead and some plastic wrap on that bad boy wrap it up and then go ahead and throw it in the refrigerator for up to an hour just like this all right like I said we go ahead and stick that uh, tart sauce in the refrigerator about for about an hour um, once in a while I like to go in there and stir it up and uh, get that mixture really uh, mixed well so next we're gonna go ahead and prepare the uh, flour uh, the batter for the uh, for the trout and then we'll start frying in a little bit here all right let's check this out all right so now we're all set up for um, to start the batter so like you're gonna need one cup of all-purpose flour uh, two cups of milk uh, two whole eggs uh, two teaspoons salt one teaspoon uh, baking powder I'm ready and I'll go ahead and I'll display that right here Right, 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 right about, right about there. All right. <laughs> so what I like to do, I don't, I like to use a baggie, get it all in there, and then dump all the stuff in there, you know. But first, first is uh, we're gonna go ahead and crack these eggs open. Cracked open here. 
we're Asian in this house, so we use chopsticks for our egg beaters. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Then we're gonna go ahead and need two cups of milk. Anyway, pardon me, not two cups, half cup of milk. <laughs> trout you're going to be uh, frying up anyways so all right so we're going to go ahead and dry all um, go ahead and put all the dry ingredients in here and then we're going to go ahead and add the milk and uh, butter uh, milk and uh, egg mixture inside so we need one cup of all-purpose flour If you like to spice it up a little bit, you can go ahead and put some uh, cayenne pepper in there too. I did that last time and uh, they liked it really, really, really well. Bam. Bam. Pinch. All right, so we'll go ahead and mix up all, mix up all this dry stuff. Get it in there. Go ahead and take your egg mixture. Go ahead and pour that in there. Seal it up and go ahead and get a mixer. So you make that good batter. You get it all up the corners there, gets all that uh, clumps out of there. Yeah, there we go. Get in this corner here too. Get all that stuff in one corner and then bam. Batter, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make another uh, separate batter. Same thing, same ingredients, but for for the uh, for the shrimp that I just uh, just unpeeled not too long ago. All right. First things first, we're gonna make sure that our um, our trout is dry. So we go ahead and throw it in the fryer after we throw the batter and stuff on it inside and out. There we go. 
just depending on how big you want your pieces you can come to size you can keep them whole you can go ahead and uh, cut them in halves or three or in three quarters or whatever thirds quarters whatever <laughs> guys are pretty big so I might cut these in threes all right okay get your batter I'll go ahead and throw your pieces in there First few in there, I put like what four, about five. All right, so whatever. I'll go ahead and put them in there and let them soak up. Soak up that batter. All right, let's go ahead and take you with me. We're not going to go over to the. Uh, Grease section right here, where the grease is at. I right, got my station all set up. I got the one back here for the uh, for the uh, shrimp, and this one's for the uh, fish. I also got potatoes. We're gonna go ahead and throw it in the fish uh, oil, and then we're gonna go ahead and throw it over here on this grate and let it drip dry. All right. All right. Got my little scooper and a pair of tongs. Oh yeah. <laughs> so first things first, we'll go ahead and go back into that bag. We'll go ahead and uh, take out those yummy, 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 yummy coated trout and go ahead and lay it in there. There we go. Look at this batter. Oh, thick. Just up and grab me. There we go. So you want to go ahead and cook. At least three minutes on each side. We'll go ahead and put that on there, and then we'll go ahead and start throwing these uh, potatoes in there. Just let the potatoes just sit in there and cook. Potatoes also have been um, cut and dried and cooked. I'm going to go ahead and turn the uh, exhaust fan on in here. It's turning golden brown right there. We just had the oil just up just a tad. Alright. Heat up just a tad, so a little bit darker than I wanted to get. We can actually go ahead and put it on this side for two minutes.
Put some more of those in there. There we go. All right. So the first group is done. Ooh, look at that. Golden brown. Two more pieces to go to get in this bad boy. There we go. And one more. There it is. Alright, let's see if these uh, shrimp are ready to go in. Yes, they are. Well, the shrimp don't have to stay in as long as the fish. Woo! These are still a little wet.
Well, there it is. The end product. So we got um, some fish right there, battered up. Nice dark golden brown. Some home fries and some shrimp. And a homemade tartar sauce. Well, Nick gets to enjoy this one. And I got the other one getting done over here. Alright. What does that say? Have a nice day. Well, guys, that concludes today uh, tonight's uh, tutorial on uh, battered fried uh, trout, some battered fried shrimp, and some home fries. Um, like I said, in the ingredients, just um, guidelines. So add to it if it's all dependent on what your flavoring is, what, what your taste buds like. But uh, until next time, guys. Yeah, son. <laughs>